Stay back. Who are you? What do you want from us? Is this what real Organa soldiers look like, Mom? How fierce. Stay behind me, daughter. I won't let you be taken from me. We won't hurt you. You charge into our home, weapons drawn, and expect us to believe that you mean no harm. Why have you come here? What are you going to do to us? Your husband wanted me to get you out of here. He even gave me the password. Tyrovan. Tyrovan? The code word. Marcus, he's still alive. We have to go to him, Mum. We have to. But... But how will we make the journey? We'll be spotted traveling with this soldier, marked as traitors to House Thul, to the Empire. I... I want to see your father again as much as you do, dearest, but we must think these things through. Put these on so no one will recognize you. Well, I... I suppose, if we have no other choice. I'll keep you safe, ma'am. You have my word. Very reassuring. Don't mope, Mum. This is going to be so exciting. Let's go. Oh, uh, <laughs> uh, hello there, ladies. Uh, welcome to the detention center. Where's Marcus? You're holding him prisoner in this horrid place, aren't you? I insist that you take me to him at once. Um, uh, Lieutenant, what's the call here? You think it's safe to let him in? I'll take responsibility if anything happens, Captain. All right. Take the ladies on in. Cell's open. Let's move along. I want to bring this nightmarish journey to a close. Don't be such a crank, Mum. Enjoy the adventure. We're going to see Father. Yes, the only thing that brings me comfort in our impending doom. Let's find out what these beasts have done to my Marcus. Marcus! Thought was so happy to see you. Altana, Valen. I'm sorry to have put you through all of this. Was your journey a safe one? Are you injured? We are uninjured, husband. This beast you sent for us was more savage than those we encountered along the way. It really was the most exciting adventure of our lives, Father. Thank you. Glad you're happy. Oh, yes. It was utterly thrilling. Thank you. You have carried out your end of the agreement. With Altana and Valen safe, I can tell you everything you wish to know. Marcus! Our house is no longer ours, dear. It is a puppet and nothing more. The two of you are my only concern now. Listen closely, soldier. Gearbox is working inside a highly secure bunker, hidden in the mountains. A direct assault is impossible. The bunker's force fields are impenetrable. But if you raid the generator facility that powers it, you should be able to shut the defenses down. Give me the details. The generator's facility powers all of the bunker's outer defenses. It's well hidden, but I can provide you with its exact coordinates. As for Gearbox himself, I cannot offer any further information. His Project B was kept a secret even from House Thule's highest nobleman. However, he promised that Project B would single-handedly turn the tide of the conflict. Whatever it is, Project B is dangerous. Thanks for the heads up. Our arrangement is concluded. If you'll excuse us, I'd like to spend some time alone with my family now. Notice to all personnel. Warning. Unscheduled main generator shutdown sequence initiated. Repeat. Main generator shutdown sequence initiated. If main generator shutdown sequence has been initiated in error, proceed immediately to generator command to abort uh -oh. the sequence. Guess we can expect a lot of company heading our way. Well, hey there, kid. Been a while now. I barely even recognized you. Memory loss is common for people your age. Ha! <laughs> 
Nothing me old, yeah. I've never heard that before, especially from someone I ended up killing a few seconds later. And is that Jorman, Gorman, something like that, right? Well, he must have been pretty desperate to drag that worthless pile all the way from Ward Mantel. His name is Sergeant Jorgen, Havoc Squad. Oh, pardon me, Sergeant, sir, officer on deck? An officer with a lower rank than I remember, huh? I'm gonna feel bad taking you down, Gearbox. It's like gunning down... Well, like gunning down anything old and decrepit. Not really sporting. What are you gonna do, shoot my hologram? <laughs> yeah, that'd really show me. So welcome to my humble little research bunker. Have you had a pleasant stay so far? Jet Cardin and Fuse already surrendered. Now it's your turn. Yeah, I'm sure the Emperor himself will be calling soon to talk terms. Give me a break. I gotta hand it to you, I didn't think anybody could breach this place, but here you are. Still, you aren't real Havoc Squad material. See, a real Havoc trooper would never have strolled right into a trap like this one. Couldn't win in a fair fight, huh, old man? No such thing as a fair fight. Welcome to the future of war, kid. Hope you're ready to make history because you're gonna be this baby's first confirmed kill. Sir, I was only following the lieutenant's orders. Cooperating with our allies isn't that the drill? Captain, you have converted our prison into a hotel for enemy nobles. I already told you. The lieutenant had to rescue the ladies to get Marcus to start talking. That's all this is, sir. I don't think anyone invited your lordship to come and talk to my prisoners. Your prisoners? Yours? Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. Would you be so kind as to explain to me why there are three Thule nobles here insisting that they have a bargain with you? That information is classified, sir. Enough. You are taking advantage of our house's hospitality to engage in secretive dealings that may or may not even be to our benefit. I will have the truth. What bargain have you struck with this man and his family? This man and his family have cooperated in full with Republic forces. They are free to go. This is an outrage. You promised amnesty for the very man who tried to murder our honored Duke? This was not your decision to make. You have overstepped your meaningless authority for the last time. If you aren't happy, take it up with General Garza. Why, that's a splendid suggestion. Thank you ever so much. Your commanding officer will hear of what you've done. Good day to you all. Lieutenant, I... I am surprised. You have risked everything for the sake of my family. Thank you. Destroying families isn't in my op orders. I will forever be in your debt, and Marcus Thule never forgets his debts. Well, sir, I guess that about wraps things up for you here. Let me just say that it's been a real honor working with you, Lieutenant. A real honor. I couldn't have done it without you, Cormac. Ah. It was nothing, really. Glad I could help. Hope we meet again, sir. Good luck out there. Lieutenant, this is General Garza. Report. What is the status of your mission on Alderaan? Everything's taken care of. I'm pleased to hear that, Lieutenant. Congratulations. And what of Gearbox? What is his current status? Gearbox refused to surrender. I had to kill him. Understood. If you had no choice, then you had no choice. Now regarding your secondary objective, assisting House Organa wherever possible. A very angry young man named Pallas claims that you caused House Organa a great deal of trouble. Please elaborate. Pallas repeatedly interfered with my mission, General. I did nothing to provoke him. Really, Lieutenant? I suspected he wasn't being entirely accurate. But perhaps there was some kernel of truth in what he said? You got Gearbox as ordered. Your success is undisputed. But our allies are critical to the war effort. You will be more diplomatic in the future. Understood? Cut me a break, alright? The enemy will never cut us a break, Lieutenant. 
That is why our allies are so important. With Gearbox eliminated, you have officially dealt with every Havoc Trader outpost we are aware of. But as you know, our task is not yet complete. You should return immediately to Special Forces Command on Coruscant. It's time we finish this. Do we have a lead on Tavis's position? We'll discuss the relevant intelligence when you arrive, Lieutenant. Do not delay. Garza out. Welcome, Lieutenant. Stand at ease. Make yourself comfortable. We have a great deal to discuss. Before we begin, I want to congratulate you on everything you've achieved thus far. You've completed missions and defeated enemies that few other soldiers could ever contend with. Just doing my duty. You've gone far beyond the call of duty, Lieutenant. The time has come to end this. To deal with your former squad mate's treachery once and for all. We've made a critical breakthrough in the search for Tavis. A decisive opportunity has presented itself. Are you ready to end this, Lieutenant? I'm always ready. Good. We've intercepted a signal, broadcast to Taris, Narshida, Tatooine, and Alderaan. The signal contained a message from Tavis, calling for all of his surviving followers to pull out and rendezvous in Imperial space. I thought I'd wipe those traitors out. Apparently, some number of scattered survivors remain behind on the worlds you visited. I suspect the Empire is losing its patience with Tavis. Every operation the Havoc traders were involved in has now been completely obliterated. Your missions have been very costly for the Empire. I think Tavis is trying to regroup before the Imperials cut him off completely. It's nice to know I've made an impact. We're only just beginning. I want you to infiltrate Tavis's rendezvous. You'll proceed to the coordinates in the message and slip in amongst the surviving traders to board his vessel. A little infiltrate, little assassinate. Count me in. Once on board, your first objective will be disabling the ship's hyperdrive. Next comes your ultimate objective, Tavis. Locate and neutralize him with extreme prejudice, Lieutenant. Tavis won't escape us this time, General. You don't need me to tell you the kind of odds you'll be facing out there. This is no ordinary mission. This is a Havoc mission. A mission no other unit could ever accomplish. Is Havoc Squad prepared to do what no one else can, Lieutenant? Consider it done. Here, get yourself and your people the best loadouts you can. Then head for the rendezvous coordinates. I'm counting on you, Lieutenant. The Republic is counting on you. So get out there and do us proud. Dismissed. Good day, Lieutenant. Welcome aboard the Justice. Need to run a few questions by you before you head on into the crew area. Go right ahead, Lieutenant. Which planet were you posted on, Lieutenant? Who did you serve with? I was stuck bowing to noblemen on Alderaan. Gearbox was running the show. Oh yeah? Some of the other guys were telling me Gearbox put together his own assault walker. Really advanced stuff. Is it true? I saw the thing with my own eyes, Lieutenant. I'll bet it was pretty impressive. Too bad the prototype couldn't be salvaged, huh? Wouldn't mind riding into battle on one of those babies. So what about this other rumor I keep hearing? That a single Republic soldier came in and broke up the entire operation. Is that really true? A real one-woman army. And she didn't take prisoners. Sounds pretty serious. But hey, you made it. We're in the clear now. Hey, uh, I won't hold you up any longer, Lieutenant. Go on and head for the crew area. I bet you could use some rest after what you've been through. See you around. Hello, Lieutenant. I was hoping we'd bump into each other. Me too. You're caught. You failed. This battle isn't won yet. Wrong. Time to die. Lieutenant, it seems that no matter how hard I try, I can't have any kind of gathering without you. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. You were a member of Havoc, just like the rest of us. I suppose you belong here in some twisted way. You've got nothing to do with Havoc Squad, Tavis. You're a traitor. I am Havoc Squad, Lieutenant. Carden, me, Wraith, Gearbox, Needles, and Fuse. We were Havoc Squad. You are nothing. You should be thanking me, really. I imagine that killing all my comrades, my closest friends, has been good for your career. Carden and Fuse surrendered. They're alive and well. Carden? And Fuse? Hmm. That... 
That's good. But that hardly makes up for the rest, Lieutenant. Nothing can absolve what you've done. In the end, I'm glad you've come. I'm glad you intercepted the signal, and glad you butchered the last of my loyal soldiers. I'm glad you're here, Lieutenant. I'm glad I get to kill you myself. It doesn't have to end like this. It can only end like this. It's time, Lieutenant. Let's finish this. I've been waiting for this since Ord Mantell. Come on, then. I... This is it, isn't it? This is all I have to show. For everything I've done. Everything I tried to achieve. There's nothing left, Tavis. Just give it up. I... You... What, what have I done? They're dead. They agreed with me. They, they followed me. They died because of me. Should have known this would happen, Tavis. We... We were the best in the Republic. We never imagined. Don't... Don't kill me, Lieutenant. I... I can help you. I... I've learned things. Intel about the Empire. Bring me in. Take me to Garza. Let me... Let me undo some of the damage. Surrender and I'll take you to General Garza. Are you kidding? You're gonna let him live after everything he's done? How many people have been killed because of this man? Good Republic soldiers. He deserves to die. I can't let your grudge from Ord Mantell ruin the chance for good intelligence, Jorgen. Fine. Let him live. Do what's useful instead of what's right. You... You made the right choice. You'll see. Garza will reward you well for... for bringing me in. I... I hereby formally surrender without condition to the custody of the Army of the Galactic Republic. Don't think for a second that I'll forget what you did. No, I... I wouldn't expect you to. I'll stay where you can see me, Lieutenant. Negative on hostiles. It's all clear, General. At ease, Lieutenant. You've done a truly remarkable job. Congratulations. Here you go, General. One traitor as ordered. Yes, I can see that. You've truly outdone yourself, Lieutenant. Hello, Harren. I wasn't sure we'd ever have another opportunity to speak. I'm pleased you've finally decided to cooperate. I don't really have a choice. I've lost everything that was worth fighting for. The people of the Republic are still out there, Harren. They're the ones you should have been fighting for all along. Team One, take the prisoner back to our ship and secure him in the brig. See you around, Tavis. Goodbye, Lieutenant. I congratulated you earlier, Lieutenant, but I think it bears repeating. You've accomplished something remarkable today. Tavis and his followers knew every aspect of our organization. They could have torn the Republic military apart piece by piece, but they never got the chance. Thanks to you. I never would have pulled it off without Sergeant Jorgen. Thanks, Lieutenant. I'm glad I got the chance to help you hunt those traitors down. We'll be staying to search the ship for intelligence while the hyperdrive is reactivated, but there's no need for you to remain as well. I'd say you've earned some leave, Lieutenant. Take some time off, then return to my office on Coruscant when you're ready to discuss a new assignment for Havoc Squad. It'll be nice to finally relax a bit. Yes, I imagine it will. Now, go out and enjoy yourself a bit, Lieutenant. And congratulations yet again on completing one of the most difficult assignments in Spec Force's history. Come on, Jorgen. Let's go get a drink. I used to know this great canteen on Ord Mantel. Probably a crater by now, though. Enjoy yourself, Lieutenant. Dismissed. Come in, Lieutenant. This is General Garza. I'm afraid your leave will have to be cut short. A critical situation has just been brought to High Command's attention. Havoc Squad is needed immediately. Report to my office on Coruscant right away. We'll discuss things further when you arrive. Garza out. Great. If High Command is worked up, this can't be good. Looks like we're back on the job. Are all of you ready for this? Ready and able, Lieutenant. Always. Our degraded enemies have rested in reprieve too long. Let's set out right away.
Lieutenant, welcome. Stand at ease. We have a lot to discuss, and not much time to do it in. Please ignore my other visitors. Tavis's testimony at trial has created a great deal of interest in my day-to-day -day affairs. Tavis had a right to trial. I never intended it to lead to anything like this, General. No apology necessary. Let's just get on with our work. First, for demonstrating exceptional discretion in the capture of numerous key enemy personnel, you are being awarded the Bronze Crescent. In addition, due to your exemplary leadership under the most dire of circumstances, you are hereby promoted to the rank of Captain, effective immediately. Congratulations. Thank you very much, General. You've more than earned it. I've called the other members of Havoc Squad here so you can designate one of them as your executive officer. Your XO will serve you as second in command and be promoted to the rank of lieutenant. As droids cannot hold rank, your choice is between Sergeants Jorgen and Dorn. Let's start with you, Jorgen. Why should I give you this promotion? Are you serious? I was lieutenant when you met me. I was an operations officer on Ord Mantell for more than three years. If Tavis hadn't left the lazy jerks upstairs hungry for a scapegoat, I'd still be a lieutenant. Besides, you've seen my results in the field. I'm obviously the most qualified for executive officer. I'll think about what you've said, Jorgen. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Tell me what makes you the best choice for the job. I believe my service record speaks for itself, sir. In spite of my short time in the Republic Army, I have received multiple commendations and glowing performance reviews. As you've seen firsthand, I carry out my duties professionally and precisely at all times. Finally, I have extensive personal knowledge of the tactics and training of our enemy, more so perhaps than any other soldier in the Republic. Sergeant Jorgen already has a lot of command experience. Yes, sir. But I think you'll agree that Sergeant Jorgen's combative demeanor is not a recommended quality for a position of authority. Thank you for allowing me to speak, sir. Eric Jorgen, you are hereby promoted to the rank of lieutenant. Finally back where I started. Thanks, Captain. Now, let's discuss the reasons you were called here. An SIS agent working undercover in the Imperial military has made a critical discovery. The Empire is constructing an experimental new superweapon, codename Gauntlet. How dangerous is this thing, General? We're short on details, unfortunately. The agent is in too deep to risk transmitting any further information. Our only option is a rapid extraction. That's where Havoc comes in. We'll pull the agent out immediately, General. The extraction will take place on Tatooine. An SIS agent will meet you there with the full details of the operation. Failure is not an option, Captain. We have to learn what the gauntlet is, and what it's capable of, no matter the cost. Dismissed. <laughs>